Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the first time you're seeing my face. Welcome, my name is Maria, and this video is divided into two sections. The knowledge and the experimentation. So first, we're gonna briefly talk about the history of paint, and after that, we are going to attempt to make our own paint, oil paint to be exact, from spices and from rocks. And we're gonna see how that will go. But first, let's learn some paint history. Paint has been in this world for a long time, 4,000 years ago, and even more people were painting on themselves and on the caves of where they lived. They used earth pigments to create their paint, like uh, ochre and amber, and they also chewed the end of the branches to create paint with their saliva and they, like put it on the wall because it's safe. And also they were blowing with like a straw thing. They were blowing pigment on the wall, creating these things. I'm going to pop out in the, the video right now. Another thing they used to make, but it's not made anymore. It's uh, the color bone black, which was a pigment made out of uh, the the bones after they were burned so they took the burned the burnt layer surrounding the bones and they made a pigment and i think they use like animal bones I, I don't think they were human yeah i think they were animal bones But it wasn't until the medieval age that painting had become a highly technical form of art. And during this time, eggs and barrels was born, which is essentially eggs, water, and the pigment. And during this medieval age, a paint color was created. And how it was created is that they took the layer on top of um, copper when it oxidizes. And the color was named verdigris which was the most vibrant green until the 19th century, guys. It's crazy. And I'm telling you until the 19th century because that's when artificial colors were a thing. And yeah, well, they could produce a more vibrant green easier. And then art flourished during the Renaissance period, which was during 15th to 17th century. And artists began to think, I don't want to use eggs anymore. Eggs dry so fast, they crack, and I don't want eggs, I'm tired of that. So they were starting to use other stuff like oils, linseed oil, walnut oil, and that's how oil paint was born. And something you may know and even experience yourself is that oil paint takes a lot of time to dry. Oh yeah, right. Oil paint does not dry, it just hardens due to oxidation. And it could take months or even years for an oil painting to properly dry. Yeah, wow. And then we are coming to modern age, which lasted only one century, actually. It's where William Reeves from the United Kingdom started selling dry watercolor cakes. So these are watercolor cakes, okay? These things. So he noticed some cracks, and to prevent that from happening, he added a small amount of honey into the formula. And then boom, it worked! Again, modern age was marked by a great discovery, a great discovery of pigment, of course, which was Prussian blue that was derived from iron. This pigment, unlike other pigments made from a rock called lapis lazuli, this is, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing it right, tends not to fade. And leaving 18th century behind, we come into 19th century and after. Industrialization. It's where everything we knew about color changed. We have paint tubes, we have mass production, we have a huge variety of color, we have cheap colors, we have water-based oils, we have fluorescent paint, we have all that crazy stuff available that make us forget about how hard people work to make their paints. 
That's why we are going to make our own. We are on the desk and we're going to make the paint. Initially, I wanted to make uh, two different uh, paints. I wanted to make egg tempera paint and I wanted to make oil paint. But because it was so hard to make the pigments, I don't have uh, a lot of quantity of them. So we're only going to make oil paint, a certain line. And I found how to make oil paint. And they all use like a, a glass surface and a glass muller. A muller, is that what it's called? I don't know, but I don't have this. The only thing I have is this, it's this. But I'm only gonna use this for the spices and not for the rocks because we use this for food and I don't know what these rocks have inside. So I don't wanna poison anything or kill anyone. And for the earth pigments, I will use my spatula. And in order to make oil paint, as we know, we need some kind of oil and we need a drying oil. And I got from my local supermarket, linseed oil. It actually smells like oil paint very much. <laughs> Hope this works. Oh, let's see. The pigments that are going to participate in this experiment today are spices and rocks. The spices, we have turmeric here next to salt and a pink rock here and a black rock here, a dark rock here. So first I'm gonna start with the spices, uh, the ones that scare me the most, and I'm gonna start with turmeric. Okay, I'm having, I have my glass palette here. Oh, you can see me, hello. So I'm gonna add some pigment. And I will add oil. I'm gonna just put it all in the middle. This looks like puke. And I'm gonna use this tool. This does not look right. This is disgusting. Oh my god. Ugh. It doesn't make paint, it makes a paste. And not a good one. Even if it doesn't work, it's still a really fun, a fun journey. You can see that it's not mixed at all. You can see the oil on top. So this is a color we got. It's a very beautiful, shitty color. Attractive. Clean start. We are ready for the salt, which <laughs> I don't have very high hopes. It's going to be even worse. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my God, why am I doing this video? Can you see better? Oh, I know you want to. I'm gonna stop. I'm, I give up. I give up. I'm gonna throw this away. I'm putting all my faith in my rocks. Moment of truth is here. Okay, I'm gonna put... Um, oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna make the dark one first. I'm gonna use this oil. Okay, this is more promising. You can still hear the grains that are not fully mushed. I make it too oily. Why am I always messing things up? Oh, sh I think my skills grinding the pigment are lacking by a lot. That's why this is not working. Right, so I'm gonna clean again. This is the last one, guys. Are you ready? Are you? Are you? Let me put some oil in my cup. Look at this color, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna slowly mix. Wow.
This is a disaster. This is what I've managed to make. Well, the experimentation part is over and we tried to make the paint. Mm, this is what we got. These three colors. The colors are not bad. The quality of the paint, I think it's awful. I couldn't grind the, the pigment to the desired size in order to mix properly with the oil. If you guys have any suggestions on how to do the grinding thing better at home, easy, with minimal equipment, just let me know because I would like to try again. Thank you so much for watching until this long. But even if you didn't, you were curious enough to click on the video, so that's something. Our journey with this custom paint, it's not over. No, it's not. I'm going to try to paint with it, even though they don't look promising at all. Mm, at all. I'm going to try paint something with them on my next video. So stay tuned, subscribe, so you don't miss my next video. Bye, guys.